today we will see data streaming so data streaming is nothing but so we will see an example interpreting the sensor information or traffic monitoring so we consider a traffic monitoring system where the data is being captured in a frequent interval environmental monitoring like uh, the weather forecasting the data in frequent interval being recorded and sent streamed that is also one of uh, the example a recording of telephone calls in a, in a matter of uh, in, in a particular moment how many calls are being rec uh, being answered all the calls are being recorded this recording is a kind of recording data is also kind of streaming data logging web servers analyzing the monetary flow so this is a beautiful example where everyone used to post the status at every moment facebook twitter streams and these are all the things which are useful for making advertisement status feed update examples comments posted in threads and posts removed from the threads these are all some of the examples so the data streaming transmits from a source and receives at a processing end in a network it's a continuous stream of data flows between the source and receiver end which is processed in real time that is called stream so the type of number of data comes into the play is getting increased so it is an on an average the data generated in an, in a day is it's about 2.5 quintillion bytes that that is the volume of data being generated in a day and the available storage is compared to the type of data being generated this less so so how this data are generated from different other sources what is the quantum of data being generated in different sources let us consider you do browsing you do click uh, even with the help of your mouse and you have a smart watch and different different sources and google search these are all some of the uh, way by which the data is generated so what is data stream data stream is a real time and it is a continuous unstructured by certain arrival time okay with a time stamp a sequence of items or the elements right this is called data stream it is impossible to control the order in which it comes or it arrives nor is it feasible to locally store all the data comes into the comes in daily uh, comes or uh, stores uh, 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 steam in in its entirely massive volume of data that is at a higher rate that is data stream a sequence of digitally recorded coherent signals 
data. Packets of data used to transmit to receive information that is the process of being transmitted. So data streams or data stream is any ordered pair. Okay, it has got two things S yes and delta. S yes is a sequential sequence of tuples and the delta is a sequence of positive real time intervals. What do you mean by tuple? Tuple means it's a in a normal database management system, if you take a tuple, if you consider a database as a table, tuple is a specific record of a particular individual. For example, let us take a class of uh, 60 students, a tuple of Badri, so his details, a set of records, attributes of Badri, so his attendance, his particulars of a particular and so uh, badri or who it is right it's a tuple uh, one particular record item is a tuple in a normal database so here is a, in, in, in a specific interval let us consider a kind of uh, uh, data tuples it comes in a particular intervals okay so continuous sequence right tables uh, so that is called data stream you can able to imagine right a stream is a sequence uh, is a potential outbounded sequence of tuples. Each tuple consists of set of attributes similar to row in a database table. Understood? Okay. It has got two things. One is transaction data stream and measurement data stream. So what is that, that transactional data stream? What is transaction data stream? You are browsing, you are going and uh, uh, transacting in an ATM machine, right? That is transaction so credit card purchased by the customer from a merchant is a transaction data stream and the telecommunication phone calls by a caller to a dial the parties is also a transaction stream where it is continually the data is being generated whereas the measurement data streams are monitor eval evolution of entity states so we don't use all the data as it as of uh, currently it is not continuous it is even though it is being generated continuously so in a particular specific point of time we will take and record and we will see whether any change in the measurement so sensor network if there is any alert right the continuous query will be generated based on the continuous query so alert could be monitored right sensor networks physical phenomena road traffic so ip network traffic and router interfaces temperature and earth, earth climate temperature moisture at two other stations so there are a few examples like uh, some of the streams of generator stream data data streams are generated naturally like uh, sensor data imagine a temperature sensor in an uh, ocean it's uh, it generates uh, data generates uh, images or surface temperature of a uh, sea uh, to the station no? in a specific point of time so in every one hour it generates a data it uh, measures the data and uh, the data produced by the sensor is a stream of real numbers so uh, now we have about the 3.5 terabyte arriving every day we definitely need to think about what we can kept in working storage and what we can be it can be archived right so we cannot uh, you know the thing about uh, the storage is we cannot store all the data and uh, there are uh, two things with compared to the previous uh, normal database management system the normal database management system uh, we can compare with the normal database management system where it is static uh, normal database management system and uh, we can store uh, the data and we can get and analyze it that's a very easy easy to do it and where is a voluminous data in the data stream is the voluminous data the how do we um, uh, analyze or uh, do an analysis that is a very uh, difficult task here the image data satellites often send down to the earth streams consists of many terabytes of images per day surveillance camera produces images with lower resolution than satellites but there can be many of them 
each producing a stream of images at intervals like one second so this is more accurate right accurate accurate than the the satellite images are more accurate right so internet and web traffic switch node in the middle of the internet receives a stream of ip packets from many inputs and routes them to its output websites receive stream of various types for example google receives several hundreds millions of search queries per day yahoo accepts millions of clicks per day on various on its various sites so what is the characteristics of data stream it is huge volume of continuous data possible infinite possibly infinite so fast changing and requires fast and real time response okay for an example monitoring and detection of potential failure of a system using a network management model can you give more examples like uh, making a data driven marketing decisions in a real time in order to make uh, the real time data driven marketing decisions so what we do uh, the use of these data from the trend analysis or real time of a real time sales or uh, we use social media data and uh, from which you know we do we, we also analyze the social media data and we find what's the sales distribution right this is from the source social media data also we find the social distribution we also try to project and find the trend uh, how can we market the data market our product right this is the one kind of uh, data stream applications or we can also give some other applications like you know uh, an iot recently uh, iot is getting very much popular and every segment iot is being implemented a sensor network or any let us take any iot controlled by any entity sensor sensor entity this is also uh, uh, continuous data is being generated through iot and like uh, uh, you people are uh, recently you know there are so many online uh, video cl classes lectures are going on so watching these video lectures and uh, this could be uh, you know forwarding you can see forward words all that is also live streaming right it's also a kind of data stream applications right many examples like this we can uh, analyze it right? or uh, uh, let us take uh, uh, any uh, manufacturing or any consumable product like uh, milk or when uh, you know the, let us consider uh, an example of uh, milk filling unit uh, where the processing of stream can be comprehended as a filling milk in a bottles on a conveyor belt and uh, capping them uh, this is uh, one at a time successfully rather than in a large large batch at the same time so one by one continuously being filled up so this is called data stream right a streaming right a stream is a data stream is data in motion that's the meaning right so different type of modeling data stream what we do with the data stream first is data mo the modeling is con modeling consists of data stream and querying then processing and managing all that involves the data stream model it comprises of data stream model okay the data stream captures nicely our data processing needs of today okay so you have to understand the difference between a data stream and the data stream processing the data coming into the coming as a data stream model consists of all the components like uh, one is data stream data coming into uh, from a source to a destination then getting queried and processed and managing all that right this is this is a complete set of activities of a data stream model okay uh, store only the summary of data seen thus far so i 
I cannot stay uh, store all the data which are coming into the data uh, into the uh, through this data stream, right? Most data stream data are pretty low level or multi-dimensional in nature. Needs multi-level of multi-level multi and multi-dimensional processing. Then um, application of data stream. We see uh, so many applications like you uh, know uh, here. Let us see data stream applications. Mm. Process queries, one-time uh, then process queries and statistics, active alarms, apply data mining algorithms. And uh, the best example you, anyone can say that is stock monitoring. So when to buy, when to sell. So for example, the data every moment uh, the closing stock price is recorded and opening and closing uh, stock price is recorded. Where how do you do it actually? So we can give a continuous query. So there are two types of query one is static query and continuous query so what we do in a static one time query or ad hoc query we call it as ad hoc query we will see that there are those aspects in the later part of the chapter here uh, let, let's say a normal database management system we give ad hoc query whereas in this data stream model we will give the continuous query that will be kept aside so whenever uh, the pattern comes right so for example continuous so we are measuring we are looking at the stock price and uh, when there's a when we give a moment that at, beyond this particular limit or we'll say some uh, selling uh, uh, say mm, some um, uh, you know what you call it as, um, as uh, i wanted to sell in a particular point beyond this particular point so there's a resistant limit on support limit so if uh, the the price goes beyond this i'll have a uh, query where if the price of the stock is go goes beyond i will have a indication to sell so that will be done with the help of the data streaming model okay so this is an example here let us take a steam at of price and sales volume of a stock over time so here um, there are two types where we adopt a technical uh, these uh, is done at technical analysis path. Technical analysis is the purely based on the uh, chart, right? So uh, it is charting of stock investors. Support of uh, tracking decisions, right? Uh, for example, uh, So here uh, notify me when uh, the price of IBM is above. So this is a kind of trading decisions. So I this is a curry. So when it goes, at, when it reaches, so it will give the result, right? So that is the kind of thing. So uh, there are different queries could be generated. Okay, next is a data stream management system okay, streaming may be archived in large actual store but we assure it is not possible to answer queries from the archive or stores because so the volume of data storing in a database very huge right and we cannot do with this normal uh, data retrieving methodology or uh, uh, querying methodology so with the large volume getting a query is very difficult so that's it so we try to get the query uh, process the data while at the streaming so it could be examined only under special circumstances using time consuming retrieval process there is also working store into which summaries or parts of streams may be placed so uh, some of the uh, some uh, user specific data while uh, the data is being streamed so only a few data could be stored in a different other data so store with uh, different specific cases right which can be used to answer the query so this is uh, we'll see the methodologies there are different methodologies filtering all that with the help of that we will do it. we will try to 
solve this so we can see this mm, we can see here in this figure and the working store might be a disk or it might be main memory depending on how fast we need to process queries but either way it is of sufficiently limited capacity that is that it cannot store all the data from all the streams.